Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Daisy Budgets and over here on my channel I do savings challenges, sinking funds updates, cash stuffings, a little bit of everything. So if any of that sounds like something you might be interested in, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and smash that notification bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be cash stuffing November paycheck number one. I have my little cash clutch right here. So we're going to start off with a quick cash count. Okay, so today we're going to be cash stuffing $1,500. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 5, 56, 57, 58, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 950, 970, 990, 1010, 1030, 1050, 1070, 1090, 1110, 1130, 1150, 1170, 1190, uh, 1210, 1230, 1250, 1270, 1280, 1290, 1300. So we have 1300 right here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1400. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1500. So we have a total of 1500, which is correct. So I'm just going to set this money up really quickly. So let me just get my breakdown ready. Here we go gonna have that off to the side okay so we're gonna be starting off with my wallet as per usual I do have some receipts over here so these receipts I'm going to scan to my fetch rewards if you are new and don't know what fetch rewards is is basically an app that allows you to snap photos of your receipts and in turn they give you reward points those reward points build up over time and then you can then redeem free gift cards so it's just another way to allow the money that you've already spent to continue to make you money so make sure that you are scanning those receipts if you sign up using my code which my code i'm going to have up here in the corner um you'll receive some points and so will i but you will not be able to to get those points until you scan your first receipt so make sure that you scan your first receipts i will also have the link down below for your convenience okay so let's get to stuffing so spending i still have some money in spending i have 10 15 16 17 18 and 19 dollars so these fives and ones are going to go to my one and five dollar challenge box so i'm going to leave that off to the side here and this $10 bill, we're gonna reallocate to what? I don't know yet, so we'll leave that right there. So in spending, before I give myself my personal spending, I'm gonna give my husband his personal spending for the week. So he's going to be receiving $30 of personal spending for the week. I'm gonna put that to the side for him. I will also be receiving $30. And you guys, thank you so much for all the kind comments on the new envelopes. I'm definitely going to list these since I've got so much positive feedback on them. Um, they're not listed right now as you are watching this video. Ho hopefully by the time that you watch this video, they'll be listed. But if not, it'll be shortly after. So make sure to keep an eye out on my shop for that because I will definitely be listing these envelopes. Okay, groceries. Groceries is going to get its usual $150. There we go. Okay, gas has $20. We're going to be adding 70 to that. So a 50 and a 20. And this is both for my car and my husband's car. I don't really drive very much, so I don't use a whole ton of gas. I fill up like once every two weeks. And my husband fills up about $50 weekly. So that is that. Household. Household has $5. So I'm going to put that to my $5 and $1 challenge box. 
and household is going to be receiving $20. I actually need some laundry detergent. So that's probably what this is going to go towards this week. Takeout. Takeout is going to be receiving $50. Give is getting its usual five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And there we go. And miscellaneous is getting $20. Okay, nails. Nails has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85 dollars. So I'm going to be giving it 20 dollars. I do have a nail appointment coming up. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 105 dollars. I'm probably not going to use all of this because I'm going to do something fairly simple. Okay, so that is that, and that is it for my wallet today. Moving on into my bill binder. I did bring all the money to the bank. Well, most of them, because some of my funds aren't due every month. Some of them are due quarterly or annually, or for example, my lawn care. My lawn care is, I pay that cash, so I leave it in here for whenever I need it. Okay, so let's get started. Rent is gonna be receiving $360. So one, two, three, 50, and 60. So $360 in rent. Electric is getting 55, so a 50 and a 5. T-Mobile is getting 55, so a 50 and a 5. Life insurance is getting 40, so two 20s. Subscriptions is getting $10. Lawn care isn't getting anything this week. Car insurance is getting $30, so a 20 and a 10. There we go. Spectrum is getting 25, so a 20 and a 5. BSS is fully funded, but I will be putting that into the bank at the end of this month because it is due in December, and then we will start stuffing it again in December. Okay, renter's insurance is getting $5. So now we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, and 5. $75 in renter's insurance. Okay, and medical. Medical is going to be receiving $60. So a 50 and a 10. And that is it for my bills this week. Moving on into my high priority binder. Okay, so car maintenance is going to be receiving $20. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 20, 35. So $835. Okay. 
Christmas is fully funded. And speaking of Christmas, when do you guys start Christmas shopping? Because now we're in November. And so I like to go the earlier, the better. Usually I would go sometime late October, but I mean, the time just got away from me. I didn't even like, it just flew. The time just flew. So I didn't have a chance to do that. So I'm going to start Christmas shopping very, very soon. I don't wait till Black Friday. I don't wait till December. Like I like to have, I like to be ahead on everything. So I'm the same way with like my challenges, my sinking funds, all of that. If I can get ahead, you know, you guys know that I've been fully funded in Christmas for a long time now. And it's because I start really, really early because I feel like the earlier I can knock something off my list, I can start working on other things. So that is that that's fully funded so i will be using that up soon okay miscellaneous miscellaneous is going to be receiving ten dollars so now i have 120 30 40 45 50 51 so 151 dollars in miscellaneous I did use some of those funds. My husband and I did a little bit more driving than expected. So we had to fill up his car twice this week. So I pulled out some money for gas. And then um, I was really busy working on some new things that are coming to the shop. And so I did order takeout another time this week just so I could just focus on finishing up some projects. And moving on to emergency fund, that is fully funded for now. Giveaways, giveaways is going to be receiving $5. So now we have 50, 70, 80, $85 in giveaways. We are approaching 19,000 subscribers, which is beyond crazy to me. So we will be having a giveaway once I reach um, that milestone. So that's exciting. Holidays. Holidays is going to be receiving $10. So now we have 110 Okay, health is getting $25, so a 20 and a 5. So now in health, we have 1,000 in the bank, 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, and 50, so $1,350 in health. I do have to make a dentist appointment soon, so I know some funds are definitely going to be pulled from here. Okay, my necessities is going to be receiving $10. So now I have one, two, 10, 20, $220. Bubba will also be receiving $10. So now he has 100, 150, 170, and $180. Okay, kids' necessities. Kids' necessities is getting $20. So now they have one, two, three, three fifty, three seventy. I did pull from this fund as well because my son had a school trip. So I gave him some cash so that he can buy some stuff while he was on his trip. And I also got him a haircut. So that is that. Pumpkin pie doesn't need anything just yet birthdays birthdays is going to be receiving fifty dollars i have uh, my daughter's birthday at the end of this month november 29th and then my husband's birthday is december 9th so i'm just trying to stack this up so now we have one two three four five six six hundred and fifty dollars in birthdays Okay, moving on to my savings. My savings is going to be receiving $25. So a 20 and a five. 
So now we have 1,000 in the bank. One, two, three, 20, 40, and 50. So $1,350 in savings. Okay, month ahead. Month ahead today is going to be receiving $20. So each heart is equivalent to $5 for me. So this is for my second month ahead. Okay, so I'm going to cross out four hearts. One, two, three, and four. I already have um, money in the bank for my second month ahead, but as time went on, our budget has kind or our expenses have kind of changed and risen. So this is just to make up for the difference that I'm going to need to keep my second month ahead up to date. So now we have 20, 40, 60, $65 in second month ahead. And I also have 2,372 in the bank. I only need 490 to get my second month ahead up to date. Okay, so that is that. And that is it for my high priority binder. Moving on into my low priority binder. Okay, so Family Fun is going to be receiving $20. And I'm actually going to give it this 10 as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 105, 6, and 7. So $107 in family fun. I did use some funds from here as well. We went with the kids to see the new FNAF movie that's out. Um, it was okay. The kids, they actually loved it. But I, Bubba and I felt like they could have did so much better. So it was kind of a womp womp for us as the adults. But the kids raved about it. When it comes out on Prime, I already know they're going to beg me to buy it. So there goes that. Let's see. Moving on to gifting. Gifting is going to be receiving $20. So now we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, and 390 in gifting. Okay, date night. Date night is going to be receiving $10. So now we have 100, 20, 40, and 50, $150 in date night. Self-care is going to be receiving $10. So now we have 50, 70, 90, $100 in self-care. And going all the way to the back. Here we go. So G-Baby, G-Baby is going to be receiving $10. So now he has 120 30 so $130 for G-Baby. Parents, parents will be receiving $10 as well. So now they have $30. Okay, and that is it for my low priority binder. Okay, so before we move into my little bits add up savings challenge, it never fails. Always in my videos, I get questions on where you can purchase things like my binders and my envelopes. The majority of the things that I use are available for purchase at my shop. My shop is basically just my Instagram account, you guys. So if you're interested in anything, you can just go to my Instagram. My Instagram is always linked in the description of all of my videos. If you go to my bio on my Instagram account, I have a highlight titled insta shop and there you'll be able to see everything i have available for purchase just leave a comment under the item or items that you are interested in purchasing and they will show up in my dms i can then give you pricing and we can just kind of go from there okay so going into my little bits add up let me just grab my marker Okay, so for the $1 challenge, it's going to be receiving a $1 contribution this week. So that should bring it up to $43. 
So we have 20, 40, 41, 2, and 3, which is correct. Moving on to the $5 challenge, it's getting a $5 contribution, which brings it up to $215. So now we have 100, 200, 510, 15. 215, so that is correct. Into my $10 challenge, it will be receiving a $10 contribution, which should bring it up to $430. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, and 30. 430. And moving on to the 20s, it will be receiving a $20 contribution, which should bring it up to $860. Okay, so we have $500 in the bank. I do have a placeholder here, and the placeholder represents the money that I have in the bank. So we have 500, 6, 7, 8, 8, 20, 40, and 60. $860. Which is that correct? Yes, $860. And that's going to be it this week for my little bits add up challenge. Okay, you guys, so going back into my white binder, we are going to go to my challenge section, which is right here. And we're going to be starting with. Mrs. Moneybags. So Mrs. Moneybags will be receiving $20 this week. Each money bag is equivalent to $10. So let me just grab my marker and let's color in two money bags. There we go. Let's give it $20. So now we have 100, 200, 250, 270, and $290. Once we have completed this challenge, we should have saved $500. So let's put that in there. Okay, moving on to my Luke 638 challenge. It will be receiving $5 today. So each icon is equivalent to $5 for me. So let's grab a marker and color in one icon. There we go. So now we have $110. Moving on to pets, we're going to be finishing up pets today. Amen. Hallelujah. I am so happy about that. I'm going to be able to make that vet visit that I want to do for my dog. So we're going to do that ASAP. So each icon is equivalent to $20 for me. I just colored in the last one. So that is $20. There we go. So now we have one, two, three, four, four fifty, four seventy, and four hundred and eighty dollars. That should do it. So I am so glad that we have finally completed this challenge. I'm actually going to take out my other binder and put this in here today into pumpkin pies envelope. So let's go ahead and do that. Where is it? Here we go. So Pumpkin Pie already has $40 in her envelope. So now in total, she has 1, 2, 3, 4, 450, 470, 490, 510, 520. So $520 in Pumpkin Pie's envelope. There we go. 
Moving on to Rainy Day. Rainy Day is going to be receiving $50. Each rain cloud is equivalent to $50 for me. So we're going to go ahead and color in one icon. Go. Let's give it its 50. So, so far in rainy day, we've been able to save one, two, three, four, five, five hundred and fifty dollars. So, not bad. There is that. And hello, savings. So, let's finish this up today. Okay, so we have, we finished our $200 savings challenge and we still have two more left in our $100 scratch and save challenge. So we're going to finish that up today. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me just grab my calculator so we have ten dollars plus let's see what else we got here so plus fifteen dollars that is twenty five dollars so a twenty and a five and that should give us a grand total of $300 between the two scratchers. Let's see if we indeed have that amount. Okay, so we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, and $300. So that is done. We have completed this challenge. So what am I going to do? I think I know what I'm going to do with this. So let's go into the start of this white binder again in family fun. I'm going to give it $100. So 50, 70, 90, and 100. So I'll put 100 in family fun. So now in Family Fun, we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 2. So 205, 6, 7. $207 in Family Fun. Okay, so we still have $200 remaining. So I'm going to go into my high priority binder. And I am going to go into, where are you? Health. Because I know I'm going to have to go to the dentist and I might possibly need some work done. Not to mention that my medical insurance does not cover dental or vision. So that is what this envelope is for. So now we have 1000 in the bank. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 20, 40, and 50. So $1,550 in health. So there is that. Okay, you guys. So as you can see, we still have some funds available. We have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So these fives and these ones are going to go into my one and five dollar challenge box. And this 10, what should we do with this 10? You know what? I think I'm going to put this 10 towards something fun. Let's go in here. So we're going to add this to family fun as well. Family fun is just getting a ton of love today. <laughs> so now we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 2, 5, 10, 15, 16, and 17. So $217 in family fun. Okay, you guys, so I broke out my little one and five dollar challenge box. So today we are contributing, let me move this back. 
5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So $28 is what's getting placed inside of here today. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, you guys, that is what she is looking like. I am so excited to like count this at the end of the year. Um, I'm probably gonna do that late December. So I can't wait for that. I have no idea. I mean, I have a few ideas of where I would want this money to go, but I'm not set on anything just yet. It depends on how much is in here. So I can't wait to get to that. Okay, you guys, so we made it to the end of today's video. And if you made it this far and haven't already done so, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video and leave me, leave me a full leaf emoji down in the comments so that I know that you made it this far into the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.